My name is Jeff Hamilton. Uh, I moved into the United States uh, about 40 years ago. My first company was Guest Jeans. I was a founder and creative director, director of the men's uh, guests and owner of the, the men's company. From 1983 to 1986, I basically launched a whole brand and, and my company. And a little bit later, when I left Guest, I started designing jackets for myself. You know, so I started designing jackets for myself to start wearing them in the 80s when I was riding Harleys and so on and so forth and then everybody wanted to get my jackets. So a few stores picked up the jackets even though they were very expensive and they put them in, a, in their retail stores and they start selling it. Uh, suddenly I get, you know, people reach out to me, uh, Muhammad Ali, President Clinton, Nelson Mandela, Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan, Kobe, Shaq, Magic, Madonna, Jay-Z to Wiz Khalifa to I mean, Cameron, Dipset, you know, and probably my favorite one of all, probably Mike Tyson. So when, when I saw that I was getting all that action, uh, a friend of mine introduced me to the NFL and I started making jackets for the NFL. Just, I thought I was going to make a couple of samples here and there and they offered me the, the license to get it done. Uh, once uh, the NFL started taking off, then, you know, obviously me being a 100% uh, passionate of basketball than the NBA, I got an NBA license. And uh, then after that, I started getting over 40, 40 licenses from Warner Brothers to, to the NHL, to baseball, to Disney. So I started picking up uh, NASCAR, which NASCAR was probably the biggest part of, of my business. I designed a lot of jackets that, that even though they were such NASCAR, you know, that for some reason I was able always to reach out to the culture. And my personal relationship with the hip hop community and, and the athletes, and, and uh, I was able to, to really uh, penetrate the market and get uh, a lot of uh, great people supporting my brand. My jackets were so popular, and everybody, when they looked at my jackets, they bought the jacket. They didn't necessarily buy them because they were cold, they were buying it, you know, because they were making some kind of statement, whether it was a championship, whether it was an event or, or, or a collector's item. And everybody started telling me that the work I was doing on the leather was a, a work of art. And I'm very passionate about my art and, and about other people's art as well. well. We're trying to put together something with Aurochs because they are great leather manufacturers. And uh, what we're trying to do is we're just trying to, I'm trying to find an extension of what my jackets are into accessories and bags. So we are developing some, some designs together. I think it's gonna be very successful with the execution of what my design are into bags and leather goods. The idea when we started designing the bag was to try to create some kind of concept that was um, some kind of blocks, so a little bit kind of duplicating some of the concept that I made on my jackets. And we started with a red, white and black, just, you know, just to duplicate the, 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 the many years that the Chicago Bulls were so successful with their colors. But also, I mean, you know, that works very well because Orox being a Portland-based company, so at least we are representing the colors of the city. The relationship and, and knowing the background of what uh, the company is, that it is a, a family-owned business and that everybody puts their soul into the product and they're all working on it. The artisanal aspect and the one-of-a-kind aspect that's done with my jackets that I think could be duplicated with, uh, with such a company.